What a fantastic view. This is the A66 corridor with the river Greta, Greta in the valley. Right in front of me is the Mosedale Beck uh, old railway viaduct for the old uh, Cockermouth, Keswick and Penrith uh, railway, the CK and PR, closed in uh, 1972, I think. The uh, Great Mel Fell is just there with Little Mel Fell behind. Can't see it. It's in line of sight. And the Pennines way beyond on my left. I've just parked up just by the White Horse Inn, just on the, in a lay-by just opposite. Out for a, a late afternoon uh, trek and wild camp up at Scales Tarn. Uh, I've just come up the track here and I think this point is the most easterly on the track. I'm going to kind of turn left here and head more or less straight up now. Well, today's an important day, actually. It's an important day for me personally. And uh, no, it's not my birthday. Oh, I'll share a bit more about my, my special day today. Oh, in a later video, but it's the Monday, the 4th of September. I don't know if that uh, kind of gives it away a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to get away. And where better to explore than one of my favorite mountains, Blencathra. Nice to stop for a moment. Still good views. I've been keeping to a slightly higher path so I can see the great views over that way. A Clough Head and Great Dodd. I don't think I've ever been up. That's the Matterdale Common. Ones to uh, add to the list for sure. I'm sure lovely views of Keswick and uh, presumably Derwent Water as well. Never been up there. I'm gonna dip over here and take the uh, the sort of valley route up to Scales Tarn this time. Not been up or down that way for such a long time. So I thought that would make a change. So the sun is just above Scales Fell. I can't look in that direction, it's so bright. Scales Fell is just on my left. And I'm going up the path that follows the side of Scales Fell up to Scales Tarn. It's uh, a little way ahead there, but just in the distance is Sharp Edge, and I can see people on it. Uh, looking forward to doing that. Not been there for years and years. Reports are that it's getting quite worn, so yep, have to be careful. Do you recognise it? <laughs> Sharp edge. It's just, the sun has just gone over the top of Hallsfell top. So there's that glow of sunlight spilling over the top. And the flank wall at the back of uh, Scales Tarn is just a dominant rock face. I've done well up in 
just over an hour and a half with a, a load of uh, stops for videoing and all sorts. Fantastic location. No rucksack. I've got just short of two hours of a usable light. So I've dumped my rucksack just on a, a decent camping point. There's a couple of guys who've already pitched up the other side of uh, the tarn. They said they'd look out for my bag for me. So, I don't know, it's about an hour and a half round. Uh, so, I'm gonna go up Sharp Edge this evening. Steady, steady. Let's not be too quick about this. More fantastic views. As I've come up a little bit, the light you can see, the sunlight is still on the, the far side of the, uh, the valley there. Lighting up, great mel. Still can't pick out little Mel behind, I don't think. And then, of course, scales fell all the way up, just a little bit in the sunlight. And getting in the shadow, Hulse fell top, and the big rocky face with sharp edge. Just munched a chockey bar. Can't really eat and climb at the same time. Just looking back this way, uh, I can't remember the name of that beck. Scales Tarn is just on my right here. So Scales Beck will be just that small bit of river coming off and flowing down the valley. But the longer river here, I think it begins with G. Can't remember. Anyway, the, uh, the shadow on the far side, the shadow cast from uh, Horsfell Top, is obviously climbing up the side of the valley. As I look at it now, it's creeping up as the sun sets, the shadow's going up. Anyway, uh, Sharp Edge is there waiting for me to uh, attack it, so up I go. <laughs> I'm right on the knobbly rocky ridge of uh, Sharp Edge. There is a slightly lower uh, sort of bad weather path just to the side for easier trekking. I have used it before in foul weather, but uh, the rock's dry, so I'm, I'm good for clambering up over the top bits.
Get in there, it's all good. I've done about uh, three quarters, I think. The last uh, steepy bit to do now. Although, I think quite a lot of it was steep. You can see how it gets its name, can't you? Like, Sharp Edge. It's gorgeous. Ah, <laughs> well that was it. That was Sharp Edge. Fantastic. Oh, and the sun. I can see the sun again. Yes. Uh, it's still about uh, an hour of light down and half a light. So I've come up high enough to be able to see it right over the top of Keswick, presumably. I am heading to Hallsfell Top, the high ground of Blencathra. What a bit of a cliche, what a fantastic evening. Uh, yeah. Not fearful of it, but respectful of it, because actually in bad weather, it's dangerous. I thought the rock was more rounded. I thought it had worn more than it actually had. But today the rock's lovely and dry. So I am pretty sure footed, very sure footed. Uh, so it was fine for me coming up and no heavy rucksack, just a few things around the waist. Uh, the nice scales tarn regular path up, that sharp rugged edge and then that final steep bit and then the roundy top and around oh stop complaining okay okay <laughs> noisy sheep I'm going past I'm heading to the, uh, the summit here, just a short hop further up this is the main route down over Scales Fell uh, don't know if you saw my Blencastra video of oh three four years ago now. Uh, foul weather. Finally, I camped out on top. The morning view visibility was really poor. I came down this way and off uh, easily enough. Big wide path. Just going to get to the top. Take a look around and then buzz back down to the. A tarn where I've left my ah oh, sunlight where I've left my uh, rucksack, and here we are, Hall's Fell Top. Although the little concrete ring is broken, I'm sure it was intact three or four years ago. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So just leaving Hall's Fell Top, just on the left here is where I camped three or four years ago. I had my Van Gogh Soul 200. I think it was a bit of a windy night. 
should only be half an hour or so back to uh, where I left my rucksack using scales fell path to start off with and then I'll dive off left down to the tarn easy enough there's people still coming up wow It looks as if I've got more neighbours as well. There were two guys that I was talking to with their two tents on the, uh, on the side of the water nearest the rock. But I can see another two or three green tents on the other side as well. Not near where I'm going to pitch, I think. It's about quarter to ten. Um, the light disappeared really very quickly outside. Not surprising in this little kind of bowl with the tarn. I got all my gear in and uh, had some uh, snack type dinner. Quite a few cold snacks that I had. Uh, I do have some custard, but really I can't be bothered to eat any more. Uh, I've eaten enough, had a, a, a lot uh, lunchtime driving, snacks and things, so really I sort of snacked out. I probably will do uh, hot chocolate in a bit just to uh, end the night uh, with the hot chocolate, finish all my beer. Uh, what else is there to report? Not a lot really. Um, the sort of strategy for tomorrow is up early-ish, uh, see if I can get a little uh, bit of video out uh, around... Uh, with the light coming up and then back to the car Keswick and then I've got other adventures I'm here in the Lake District for a few more days hopefully so more to enjoy I'll probably leave it at that for the moment and say night night to you catch you in the morning Good morning. What a fantastic view I have over the back of uh, Scales Tarn. There's Sharp Edge, ragged and very imposing just on the skyline there. There's uh, two people up on top already. Ah, very comfortable last night. Hardly a breath of wind. Uh, very, very peaceful not disturbed by anybody. I thought I heard a sheep earlier on. That might have woke me up, but uh, all is good. Kettle's on, tea, uh, pot's on for water. Uh, can have some porridge breakfast, keeping it simple. And uh, I've already had a, a cheeky uh, cake. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? With the sunshine. We do get some lovely days in England. Perhaps sometimes uh, people say few and far between, but uh, days like this, blinking gorgeous. Uh, 
started packing up already. I rolled up my sleeping uh, pad. Uh, this is my old softy uh, snug pack sleeping bag. Got the zero pillow. I've got the foil mat underneath as well, just for extra uh, insulation, but really this time of year, don't suppose it's needed. A whole load of other stuff. I ended up taking off my uh, woolly hat last night. It's certainly warm enough. Better get shifty on, really. Can't stay here all day. and warm, get to going in the morning. I just used this protective bag from my uh, pot just to insulate the uh, porridge pot for a little while. A couple of people walking their dogs along by the water, but apart from that, it is so peaceful. It's uh, just about half past seven, just after half past seven. So time to move on really. That'll be the last view I see of Sharp Edge for, well, until the next visit, however long that is. Who knows, maybe this time next year. Don't know. It's been a long time since the last time. But hey, last view in the glorious sunshine. I'm using the, the contour path. I could have gone back over, up and over the top of Scales Fell, but uh, I did that the last time. And oh, it's nice in the valley here. Still can't remember the name, begins with a G. I'll put it on screen. Yeah, back at this kind of coal path junction. Just come up from, oh, I can see Sharp Edge still. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, got to curve around now, contour hug pretty well. Dip down to, just by the white heart, put white horse in. Leave it there for this time, I think. Just say bye bye and thank you for watching. It's really nice if you've stuck with it so far. Appreciate that. If you have any comments, suggestions about routes, ideas, always welcome. So thanks for watching and bye for now.